Hello crafty friends! Welcome back to a new video. This is Luisa Heinzel and today I would like to start a challenge. So a challenge for myself, but perhaps you would like to follow me and perhaps you would like to join this. That's also available on Instagram. Um, and perhaps you would like to make your own things for this challenge. So um, my dear friend Susanna, hi Susanna, <laughs> brought me to a challenge by Daisy Yellow Art. So here can you read this. So um, she makes this challenge I think since 10 years or so and it's called the Index Card A Day Challenge. So this um, challenge started yesterday. So oops <laughs> i didn't recognize it but i think i can start today as well and um in a second i would like to tell you why today um, it's the perfect day to start for me so let me first tell you uh, what's going on in this challenge so you have to um, create something on an index card each day starting june the first so yesterday for 61 days it must be a physical, analog, non-digital index card or Rolodex card. Um, and the maximum size is A6. So this is approximately a little bit um, smaller than A6. <clears throat> um, choose your approach, mediums, themes, materials, techniques, goals, simple or complex as desired. And you can put this both hashtags on Instagram to, um, yeah, come into this hashtag where all those index cards are collected and where you also can see the results of the other people who are joining this challenge. And for me, the fifth point here is the most important. Um, and I think that's yeah the main goal of this whole thing, that um, this is a creative challenge and not an art competition. There are daily prompts by Daisy Yellow, um, but they are optional. So you can also take um, yeah, prompts by yourself or themes that you thought of by yourself. So um, here you can see I prepared 61 cards. So 61 of these index cards. And um, these index cards are really different. So I've chosen everything that I had in my stash here in my um, yeah situation due to the pandemic. So I have leftover papers. I got some um, happy mails from Jutta and Angelika. Hi, <laughs> you werdet einige eure Papiere hier wiederfinden. So I have these leftovers from um, some journals that I've made and some smaller projects. And this is everything I have left over here in my little stash at the moment. And yeah, so I've cut all these cards here. As you can see, there are some that are really similar, but um, of course I will cover this up and make some pieces of art here out of it. And I will also mix them up a little bit. So as you can see, here is something like scrapbooking paper, some um, thicker copy paper where I did some acrylic paint uh, experiments, uh, obviously a little bit failed. Otherwise, they would not be in this collection here. But for those projects, of course, that's really great when you have um, such things so that you have an, yeah, something like an inspiring background where you can um, think, OK, perhaps some a beach theme or some mermaids or some galaxy themes. Um, this, by the way, is a cleaning page where I cleaned my stencil. I've used it with stays on ink and then I sprayed um, an alcohol fixative. So let me show you this one here um, that's alcohol based. And then the stays on ink, normally it's um, permanent ink, then it removes and you get this really beautiful um, print here. So I will use that definitely here for this challenge as well. And yeah, some mocker pages here and uh, nearly everything that you can imagine different things and this here was from a junk envelope and this is um, one of two pieces that are uh, in this flip version here so with this little um, window from the envelope there are two of them in this and 
I've also <coughs> glued um, to some of these cards some of my um, papers with that I protected my desk uh, during the crafting time. Um, and yeah, for me, this is a really nice memory of this. So um, I'm today uh, in the situation that I um, am allowed to go back to my crafty caravan, so to the camping site where my caravan and my all my craft supplies are. As you perhaps know, I was not allowed to go there during this pandemic. Of course not, um, because yeah, of this whole situation um, that the people on the camping site use the same showers and um, the same toilet and that stuff. So it wasn't, of course, not allowed to go there. So I had no um, uh, chance to go to my um, my craft supplies. And yeah, so this is a really crazy memory to this time here at home. And um, so I decided to use, already use some of this um, yeah, mocker pages and this uh, protection paper from my table to get some interest to these cards and to get a start. Because I always have the problem when I have um, something like this. This is a challenge. So a challenge for me. I have the problem to start um, when I have a white page in front of me. Perhaps you know that. <clears throat> that it's really difficult when you have nothing on your page um, yeah, to start and what to put there. And so I decided to go this way so that I also have a nice memory after this 61 days um, of this pandemic um, thing here at home. The next um, five cards that you will see seem to be already finished so when you look at this it looks like it is finished that are some brusho gesso flowers that i made today and these five cards are also the reason why this is um the perfect day to start for me this challenge even if i'm one day too late so let me tell you something about this um my He's not my hubby because we are not married, but I don't like to say boyfriend. So uh, my partner told me this morning that um, he would like to have a special song that he wrote in 2017 on his Facebook page. So he's at work at the moment and he's uh, totally stressed and has no time to do that by himself. And he asked me, um, Louise, can you please um, share this special song? And <clears throat> this song is about, so he's a musician, so perhaps I should say that. So um, this um, song is about his brother and um, his brother passed away a few years ago. And that was a really, uh, yeah, hard time. And it is a hard time until now um, because it was a suicide. And yeah, that's a really strange and weird thing. So we both wrote this song together in 2017. And today it's the date of the death of the brother. And yeah, my hubby said, okay, I would like to share this song on my Facebook page and for my friends because um, there are many people who know the brother because he was a musician as well and he was really popular. And yeah, so I thought, okay, I can share it. And there's also um, a music video on YouTube where you can see the cover of the CD, but nothing else. You can hear the music, but you have to look at this cover for the four minutes or what the um, song is long. So I decided to make a little surprise for my hubby and um, make a little uh, music video about this song. So these five cards that you can see <clears throat> are originally the piece that I've created for this song and I've cut it into pieces. So don't know if I can bring that back together like it was. Um, and... Yeah, so I think that's not possible. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, there are parts missing here in between. And um, because of this thing that I made this video today and I had so weird emotions about this because, of course, I was happy about creating something. Um, when I create something with colors, I'm always happy. And uh, yeah, I'm happy when I can create in general. But... At the same time, there was this really weird feeling. Um, 
and I hadn't the chance to meet this brother of my hubby because this thing happened before we met each other. But sometimes I have the feeling that he's with me. And when we uh, made this song in 2017, there were really weird situations. We had um, times where we sat together and um, talked about the text, the lyrics of the song, and we cried a lot. And... Um, when I sat alone and um, thought about this lyrics, I thought the brother came to me because I had such a crazy feeling on my face that I never had before and that I never had after this. And I thought that his soul or something like that came to me in this moment. And that was really, really incredible. Why am I talking about this? So the most of you don't know me. Then most of you think, okay, she's one of a billion YouTube crafters or something like that. But I want to tell you something about myself that you perhaps have the chance to feel that by yourself as well. Or there are also many people who tell me I can feel what you feel when you talk in your videos. And I would like to say, even if it sounds really, really weird, you are not alone. And I have the feeling when I watch such videos where the people talk a little bit about their self um, that I am not alone as well. And I think that's a really, really awesome thing in this crafty community. And I wanted to use this video yeah, to take the chance to tell you that. And also, I would like to say again, I'm so thankful that you are all here on my channel, in my life, on Facebook, on Instagram and wherever. And I met so many lovely people. Uh, I think I'm a really lucky girl in this life. So in the next part of this video, you would will see um, the original music video that came out of this. So I made this with um, white gesso with black acrylic paint. So this background, what you can see is normal acrylic paint. And then um, this little guy's here on the top of this flowers, so this middle point of the flowers, that is a, a special thing that I have really long in my stash. I think when you don't know what it is, you can't, um, yeah, you can't see it. It's um, a leathery thing um, that is put into uh, these little holes of a saxophone. So I'm playing saxophone by myself and I had to uh, repair my uh, instrument and um, these little things here came out. So I can show you how they normally look. Of course, there are different sizes of them. Normally they are um, in the instrument like this. And um, this little leather thing here makes that um, this little flap or how do you call that? This little clap, flap, flip. <laughs> where you press down with your fingers, don't know how this is called in English, that it closes completely. So, um, yeah, when you um, play and you have this thing, then it goes up and down. On the other side, there's a metal thing and um, then it can close up. And when they removed these things here to repair my saxophone, then I got this here. I said, OK, don't throw this away because they are really special things for me. They come from my instrument and my instrument, of course, is a really special thing. And I took some of the smaller ones and turned them around. And that's what you can see here. And the smaller ones, I can't show you that because I used them all up here for these pieces. The smaller ones have these little eyelets inside or something like an eyelet. It looks like um, a little flower when you look closer. And I thought that would be a really nice thing for this middle part of the flower yeah so i don't want to tell you too much about this as i said in the next part of the video you will see the original music video that i made for this day and for this song and um yeah then you will see this thing what i came up with and i think you will recognize some of these elements here in the next part so when this song um it has finished i would like to uh, make this pieces of this whole piece of art to something special and some something um 
single for the day. So I will choose two of these cards because I need one for yesterday and one for today. And then I will make some things here <clears throat> so that one of this, uh, two of these cards, sorry, um, can stand alone. So yeah, we will see in a few minutes. I say uh, until then, have fun with this video and we will see soon. Sorgen kann wann wann ich wüsst ob du mir hörst wann wann ich wüsst dass du mir weinen siehst wann ich Das Quiz vom Schmerz befreit, mein kleiner Bruder, ist alles plötzlich klar. Ich sieg die Form und spüre die Freit, so ganz bis früher einmal war. Doch jetzt, mein kleiner Bruder, lass ich Okay, welcome back. Hope you liked this video. 
and perhaps it's also a little bit of art inspiration for you because everything is made with this brush or colors and white gesso and black acrylic paint and perhaps you recognize this piece of this yeah whole thing as you can see after drying the um, brush or colors went really crazy so um, what I can see with my eyes is the same thing that you can see uh, um, through my camera and as you could see in the music video I um, did nothing to it so I recorded it and what you see was um, that what I saw with my eyes during I created it of course I made this video in this really wet style so I filmed everything uh, while it was really wet I wanted this effect but as you can see the brush or colors make some really strange things and I just want to try to bring out this flower a little bit more I want to have it yeah that it stands out so I have this white corrector's pen um, you can also use uh, any other white pen I think for this and oh, first of all I have to say um, I sealed the whole thing with this fixative um, after it was completely dry so if you would like to make this and uh, work on brushes um, with uh, some other mediums so um, especially when you want to make it wet again then please seal your piece with something because otherwise of course um, the brushes will come off from your um, piece so because they are water soluble and when you put um, no fixative on top then of course the brushes will be reactivated and that would not be such great because that's not what you want okay so i take this water brush and because of this sealing nothing can happen here and of course the surface of this whole thing is a little bit more um yeah more sturdy you can work on it uh with this yeah something like wet medium now i can't see anything because my camera is here sorry um yeah and it's a really cool thing when you can when you seal it then you can um yeah work on it afterwards with some other mediums and i think i love the ceiling stuff <laughs> because you can never know so for me it's like that if uh, that what you are doing there is finished or not and i think perhaps this card will be finished after this video and of course it can happen that i say in one or two days or weeks Oh, I want to make something new to it. I want to change something. And then I would like to have the chance to do that um, without any problems. So, um, yeah. For that reason, I think it's a cool idea to, to seal that. Um, and after this step, of course, I can seal it as well. And I love this effect that came out with this um, corrector's pen in the video. So I just try to get something similar here to this piece. I don't know what will happen when this is dry. Because to be honest, in this video, oh, okay. It was something like an accident. And as you can see, that is not... Uh, such successful don't know why uh, in the video it was something like an accident I uh, didn't recognize that the areas where I pressed the pen like this weren't uh, were, uh, were, were not uh, dry and <laughs> then this really strange thing came and I think I can leave it and I can let it dry and hopefully this uh, effect will stay there but I can't go into it with the paintbrush again as you could see a second ago but I think I will do it like this even if this is really light but I think I like this contrast so let's go around here and yeah 
this is also a thing um, this little challenge where I think okay try something new I'm always yeah something like a person that goes the safe way when I do my art I'm really self critical person I know that's not a good thing but yeah I can't do anything against it when I'm not satisfied you will never see a video about it but for this I wanted to challenge myself and say okay I will upload this um, no matter what comes out and um, I think I just destroyed my brush here I ah. I hate such things so let me try to fix that sorry uh, yeah and I, I um, thought okay you will upload these videos even if you are not 100% satisfied with the result and that's a challenge for me hopefully <laughs> you will not leave my channel because this is weird stuff or something like that hopefully um, you um see what i'm thinking behind this stuff so i would like to encourage you um, to do things to try out new things especially that point try out new things that you never did before um, so this piece for the video i never did something like that before and i tried it and i think um, the video is really really great and yeah hubby cried a little bit <laughs> i can tell you and that's a totally not typical thing for him so i think i never saw him crying and that means a lot to me and that's a point uh, that's a proof for yeah for that what i want to say so do it try it and show it to the world and i think also in every fail or every thing where you are not satisfied with um, the other people can see something that in inspires them or that gives them some help or something like that Structure is really cool. Okay, so let's go around here. Wow, my god, uh, with the white gesso, and then afterwards, I would like to take my uh, black um, how is that called Stabilo oil pen and go around and make a black frame so that we have perhaps kind of yeah black and white frame I think that fits uh, really nice to this whole theme of the song and of the video and that stuff Okay, so now I would like to add a little quote and um, I just um, have this left over here and here it says I love you and I would like to add this to the card because the reason of the video um, was that I wanted to say to my hubby that I love him. So let's try to distress the edges a little bit perhaps. want it try it like this uh, if you do it like this do that really carefully that you don't destroy your ink pad but i like it when the uh, direct this direct edges 
here are much darker than the shading that goes into this thing. So, oops, sorry, that it gets a little bit of a frame or something like that. Uh, I think here can be a little bit more. So, yeah, that's what I'm, I want to say. And I think that looks really nice in combination with this glittery thing there, even if I hate pink. So if you want to send me a happy mail or something like that, <laughs> please have in mind that I, ha that I hate pink. I hate hearts and I hate pink. <sighs> I think that's nice. Oh, sorry, that's really glossy. And I just thought, okay, it needs something more, something like a frame around. I like to layer my labels when I put something there, but I think I will not do it. I will glue it like it is. I will just try to, to remove this little white shit, but that's not possible. Oh my gosh. I had this on my fingers. Okay, now it's there and obviously it belongs there. Yes, so, 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 so. <laughs> sorry. <sighs> For the second card, I decided to make little speed up so you will not hear me talking. And um, I will just tell you what's the goal for the second card. So I have this little scrapbook thing here from a happy mail as well. Thank you, Jutta. And I have this little thing here and this, oops, sorry, this says <clears throat> keep doing what you do and that's such crazy thing. These are all such maritime and yeah, as you can see this sea themed things uh, and yeah. Of course, I, I uh, can use this for some special projects, but they are really special, some special topic for yeah, some reason. And then I found this and I thought, okay, what the heck is going on here? Why am I reading this today for the first time? So I have this um, thing here for a very long time, this happy mail, and Today is the day where I'm reading this the first time. That's strange. Because, as I said in the beginning, I will go back to my caravan and I will be um, in a really stressful time for the next month. That's totally clear. And I um, don't know how much time I will have for crafting, how much time will I have for doing YouTube videos. So I recorded some videos already for you that I have content <clears throat> during the summer that you can watch something and I have to keep doing what I do during this summertime because otherwise I will go crazy and this will be the thing that I want to have for today mm, something like a little mantra is that the same in English I hope so a sentence that I have in in front of my eyes that I don't forget my creativity, that I don't forget my crafting. And even if it's only a little index card a day, I will keep on. And um, yeah, so that's what I want to bring to the second card. And that will also be, I think I will use this one. Uh, this, this will also be a piece of this um, cards here from the song. And I just try to find out which one I like the most for this little quote.
dir Sorgen kommen, wann, wann ich wüsst, ob du mich hörst, wann, wann ich wüsst, dass du mich weinen siehst, wann ich Vom Schmerz befreit, mein kleiner Bruder, ist alles plötzlich klar. Ich sieg die Form und spüre die Freiheit, so ganz wie es früher einmal war. Doch jetzt, mein kleiner Bruder, lass ich die Friend.